Now, Iraq was marred by deadly violence after Muqtada al-Sadr announced that he's quitting politics. In the latest, Iraq's Prime Minister Mustafa al-Kadimi has said that he will leave office if the political situation in the country worsens. Listen in. بإعلان خلو المنصب في الوقت المناسب وحسب المادة 81 من الدستور العراقي وتحمينهم المسؤولية أمام العراقيين وأمام التاريخ After two days of clashes in the capital Baghdad which claimed 30 lives an eerie calm has now returned on the streets However, Iraq's president has warned that the political crisis is not over He called for early elections as a potential way out of the deadlock إن انتهاء أحداث العنف والصدامات وإطلاق الرصاص أمر ضروري ومهم لحقن دماء العراقيين لكنه لا يعني انتهاء الأزمة السياسية المستحكمة في البلد منذ أشهر يقينا أن الوضع الحالي لم يعد مقبولا وغير قابل للاستمرار لذلك فأن إجراء انتخابات جديدة مبكرة وفق تفاهم وطني يمثل مخرجا للأزمة الخانقة في البلاد عوضا عن السجال السياسي والتصادم والتناحر وأن تضمن الاستقرار السياسي والاجتماعي وتستجيب لتطلعات العراقيين while Muqtada al-Sadr ordered his followers to end their protests in central Baghdad, easing the confrontations which led to the deadliest violence in Iraq's capital in years. More details coming up in this next report. Iraq's powerful Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr has ordered his followers to end protests in central Baghdad and apologized after 22 people were killed and hundreds more injured. It was the worst fighting Baghdad has seen in years, pitting Sadar's followers against armed groups loyal to Iran. Offering an ultimatum, al sadar also demanded protesters leave the fortified green zone in central Baghdad, home to embassies and government buildings. The protesters have occupied parliament there for weeks. I still believe my supporters are disciplined and obedient. And if, in the next 60 minutes, they do not withdraw, as well as from Parliament, then I will abandon these supporters. He also said that the spilling of Iraqi blood is forbidden. Following the announcement, supporters began leaving central Baghdad, gathered on vehicles, holding rifles and chanting while driving away. Fighting initially broke out on Monday, hours after al sadr announced he was quitting politics. He is one of the strongest political figures in the country, commanding a thousand-strong militia that fought the United States. The unrest has prompted Iran to close its border and halt flights to Iraq. It also comes after months of political deadlock caused by October's early and inconclusive elections, in which Iraq has been left without a working government. According to the state news agency, following al sadars announcement, Iraqi security forces responded by lifting a nationwide curfew. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.